Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obito Potato. This is Transport Fever. Um, no TGV as of yet, but we're ki kind of getting closer. I mean, we do also kind of have the maximum 100 million pound loan out. Um, yes, that that's that's not ideal. That's that's not an ideal situation to be in. Oh goodness me, game! You're feeling very very sluggish today. Just another. Another opportunity to mention that this game is very badly optimized, and uh, you know, if I want to, if I want to show you, then I can. Oh God! Wow, you can just see for yourself at three times speed. If I just want to like draw, if I want to draw a track, hypothetically, if I wanted to draw a track from here to like, yeah, oh, oh, it feels, oh, it feels, oh, it's slideshow now. Oh yeah, sorry. There you. That's why this game is pretty badly optimized. It, d it does need uh, it does need significant improvements to actually uh, uh, to actually make it make it work properly. Uh, third time's the charm. Why are these trains getting delayed? Actually, and the goods line as well. The goods line is one of those lines that honestly I think should be making profit, but just isn't making profit. Yeah, it's just losing us like an unbelievable amount of money. Like how how is that possible? How is that possible? I just I just don't know. I just do not know. I just have no idea whatsoever. Third time's the charm. You're still operating fantastically. The problem is, right? The problem is literally now. Oh wow, holy shit. We're making money like we've never made before on that route. That's fantastic. If I was to sell my three third times the charm trains, or sorry, my two third times the charm trains, how much would I actually get for them? 1.3 million? 1.6 million? That's that's quite good. Although we would like instantly forfeit all of our revenue. We see only 389,000. Uh, I mean, this is this is not good. This is not good. This number should be should be one of our largest. Like Borbrak. It's the brand new train. That's that's what the 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 trick is. I mean, what's your running cost? 3.5 million per year. And the running costs of this are 3.1 million per year not to mention that this carries way fewer people goes at a way slower speed and overall is uh, is much 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 worse so for an extra like you know 0.4 million you get uh, you get a, a fantastic brand new speedy train but uh, that's the thing right if you run out of cash then it's so unbelievably difficult to buy brand new trains because there's just there's just not the money for them I mean you're 60 fucking four years old 5.94 million in running costs and you're probably I mean look that's that's that that's that's half the age right that's basically half the or a third of the age and you know one and a half one and a half million in running costs are are not being spent on this one train because it's because it's not super old that's that's unbelievable that's unbelievable if ever there was a if ever there was an argument to be made for for new tech and for new new trains, then I think that that is it. The question is, though, how do we go about getting ourselves out of this out of this you know rut that we seemingly have ourselves in? Like, do we need to just like cut back, Mr. Potato Head? How are we losing money on this route? I mean, you've lost money every year. You've also lost money every year. You've also lost money every year? Like, how? These trains are super full. Like, they get... They get filled up so quickly. I don't understand. I, I do not understand. We've never run a profit on Mr. Potato Head. I mean, yeah, you know, it's still worth doing. But I'm just, I'm just trying to understand, like, how on earth... Have we not managed to run a profit? I mean, nine million in running expenses. You know what I think we need to do? You know what I absolutely think we need to do? And this is something that we can totally afford to do right now. And this may just get us up to the to the mark that we're that we're after. Our running expenses are very very high on this. I think we can kill two birds with one stone here, right? What I plan to do is I plan to get rid of a little bit of section of track, okay? Excuse me. 
All right, there we go. Perfect. Can get rid of a little bit of section of track over here. Very, very laggy, as you can probably tell by the fact that the lag is here. Uh, and then we're going to upgrade the station and we're going to make it 320 meters in length. Which sucks that we're going to get rid of all of the, the machine bits and whatnot, but very, very necessary, I think, in order to... Uh, in order to do what I really want to do. Which is a pretty... Which is a pretty big deal, actually. Alright, this is... You're not parallel. That's... That's pretty annoying, actually. Alright, that works. That works. We get decent speeds out of that. I'll take it. And that works as well. So I don't know why you couldn't have just planned yourself out like that in the first place, but whatever. Anyway, uh, we're going to retire two of the three trains that we actually have on this uh, on this list. Uh, how many passengers do we have waiting for Borbrak? Just quickly. Just let me check. 173. Where is this train? Elstrian Bornwood. Okay, that's... Is it this train? Yeah, okay, so it's not ideal. We've got a lot of passengers, but again, we need to we need to be way more passive and we need to like, you know, say fuck the passengers. We can afford to leave some of you at the station. That's that's not a that's not a big deal. Anyway, back to the to the Mr. Potato Head route. Um so this is the brand new train that we just got a hold of very very recently indeed. Uh and only costs us 3.3 .3 per year in running expenses, whereas you and you, I imagine, are probably quite expensive. Yep, 3.3 .3 as well, and you're 3.4. Okay, so all of them are around the same. So immediately what we can do is give all of the carriages to this guy, and then, then we can just sell off both of these trains, right? And the reason that we can do that is because we just extended our station to 320 meters. The Elstree and Bornwood station, the station that's receiving them, is already uh, up to standard, so we can really afford to do that. Okay, Mr. Potato Head. Uh, does anyone have any goods on them? Any tools? You do. But you're coming into the station. So I'm going to say for you to go to the depot. And for you to go to a depot. Perfect. And then... As soon as... This guy gets into the station, this guy right here. Then we're going to send him to a depot too. So let's go slideshow mode. Let's go three times speed for a little bit. And then uh, we'll see how it goes. Alright, drop off your load. And then go to depot. Just because, you know, I want to make the profit while we still can. There's no point in just getting rid of it right now. There we go. That's it. And now you can head for the depot. So why are you having issues? What the fuck? What the hell's the issue over here? There's literally no other trains on this on this bit of track. Do you want me to put a new signal here? Will that make a difference? Apparently not. New signal there, that doesn't make a difference. Are you heading to this depot? Jesus, you head to that depot. Oh, whatever. I mean, that's that's okay. But I don't understand why you're not going. Waiting for free path. There is no one in your way. All right. Let's try this. Let's try putting you on Mr. Potato Head again. Nope. Oh, no, that does work. So proving that there was no one there in the first place. And now you're going to head to the depot. That's right. You were fucking tricked into it. Jesus Christ. All right. You two, you are going to go over this way. The signaling is a right mess here because I tried to fix things, but it didn't work. So let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Yes, 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 yes. Lots of trains coming in here. That's fine. 
I mean, we can straight up just sell this chump off over here. Whoa. Oh, great. Love it when the game auto saves. Okay. Uh, you're coming through. We're going to flip you around. And then go to depot. Perfect. All right. So all we need to do is get that off there. And then just click this button a bunch of times and double our train length. That's literally all we need to do. 315 uh, meters long. That is absolutely fantastic. Let's put you on the Mr. Potato Head route. Uh, so fingers crossed, we can make some pretty significant cost savings. Uh, you are going to be completely sold off. A bunch of old wagons that we no longer need. We've got real money, actually, for the first time in what feels like forever. Uh, very, very close to those TGV figures, which is really what we're after at this point, because... I, uh, I really want to, I want to see what the hell, what the hell happens. I really do. Could we make this a little bit better by putting another signal in here? I think we probably could. There we go. How much are signals actually costing us? Do signals have operating costs? I imagine that they, that they don't, but I, I don't really know. Um, I guess it comes under railroad, probably. But, who knows. Uh, yep, TGV drawing ever closer. Uh, I'm gonna monitor a little bit, uh, a little bit more closely than I usually would the Mr. Potato Head route. Because I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be perfect. Like, this train, the only reason that we can do this is because this train is actually big and powerful enough to carry, you know, a whole bunch of carriages, and we should really be able to get all of the tools that we could really want. You know what else I forgot to do? Forgot to put a little bit of a crossover here, so... Uh, currently the route might be a little bit fucked up, but I'll fix it. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, which side of the track? Did we make it so? One way, yes. I mean, it actually doesn't matter now because we've only got one train on this route, so. Okay, Mr. Potato Head, tell me that it works. Looks pretty swell to me. Looks pretty fucking swell to me. All right, you may resume. You may resume. All right, how many machines and bits and bobs are we going to see going onto this train here? Probably almost every single one, actually. That's pretty fucking good. I'll take that. You know, that's that's great. That is that is awesome. So there's only five machines left behind and two tools. Awesome. Now, the annoying thing is, is that since we have sort of cut back on the number of trains that we actually have on this route, it means that it's much, 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 much less regular. Which is a little bit annoying, I guess, but it's not its not really the end of the world. Um, so you're going at quite a slow speed, because presumably that's... Uh, a li the limiting factor is the is that little bit over there. All right, now uh, now you're free to get up to the whatever the hell your top speed is, 160 kilometers per hour. I don't think that you're actually going to reach that on the short little journey into Elstree and Borumwood, but you know what? I can be optimistic. That's fine. I mean, this track is uh, I think this is 300 uh, 300 miles per or 300 kilometers per hour the whole way the whole way along. I think it is. Oh, are you going to get up to 160? Well, that's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. You apparently have to slow down to 120 whilst uh, going through passenger stations, which is rather annoying, but hey-ho. This area is a mess, but at this point, I can't be bothered fixing it. Okay, I would rate that pretty successfully. Um, I think that's a, a pretty darn good job that we've done with uh, with this anyway. Yeah, that's 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 pretty awesome that we've now got one train, which theoretically we should see the finances change. Um, we should see uh, you know lower running costs, basically, like much lower running costs. Look, we're already in profit. I mean, it's not going to remain the same because we're going to have more running expenses. But if we look at the running expenses for 2015, we're 2015. No, we must. Uh, no, definitely not. That's only of this train. Let's look at the line as a whole. 
Because running expenses were like 9.5 million. Yeah, okay, so 9.5 million running expenses, right? This train's maximum running expenses are 3.18 million, right? Or, well, now they'll be a little bit higher because we've got more carriages, double the carriages. But, you know, maximum running cost, we can have a little look. 5 million, okay? 5 million per year. That means that we are literally capped at 5 million uh, in running costs, which is fantastic because it means that we're not going to be spending 9 million, which is great. And if you look at these numbers, if we transport a similar number of products, then um, then we'll be in the money. We really will be. I don't know if it's going to be profitable, but it's certainly going to lose a heck of a lot less money. Now, I just saw a massive 40 million pound investment come out of my, uh, come out of my bank account. And therefore... I assume that there is now a TGV on the on the on the route somewhere. Oh baby, it's true. It's fucking true. Here it is, the brand new TGV that can go up to the truly ridiculous speeds of 300 kilometers per hour. This this is awesome. This is awesome. The only problem that I think that we're probably going to have is that there is too much traffic on this route to get up to 300 kilometers per hour. Which is pretty annoying, because I really want to see this thing go super fast. But this is the first, you know, brand new, super, unbelievably high-speed train um, in a long time, actually. Well, no, not really. I guess in maybe like a couple of years, but the Borbrak one was pretty, was pretty new as well. What's the loading speed of this, actually? Eight times? I mean, that's okay. It's not great, but uh, I guess we'll take it. Alright, let's skip it into three times speed, because I can't be bothered waiting for... You know, the sun to die out. 164 passengers. The largest number of passengers that we can carry on any one train at any time. What? Is this what third times the charm is doing? Why are you going around here? Just turn around and go back the other way. I mean, that would certainly explain... No, why is this train doing it then? Third Times of Charm isn't even supposed to, like, hit this area. It's just supposed... Can it not turn around? Jesus Christ, what have I done? What have I done? Well, let's see if it can get up to the maximum speed that we can... That we can muster on this thing. I mean, what, 300 kilometers per hour? 300 kilometers per hour is a lot to ask. The running expenses of this thing are also insane. So, we've got that to look forward to. But I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. This is a clear stretch of track. 300 kilometers per hour. Come on, baby. I somehow think that we're going to hit nowhere near that number. 180. Okay, we almost hit 200. That's pretty disappointing. I'm not going to lie. That is very, very disappointing. Very, very, very disappointing indeed, actually. I really wanted uh, a little bit more... A little bit more speed there, in all honesty. But... I mean... I want to equip you to the to the Borbrak route. There might not be many passengers. That's 48. I want to see if you can get up to 300 kilometers per hour on that route. You head to Brackley. So immediately I see a problem here. Because this train is limited to 200 kilometers per hour and this one is limited to 300 kilometers per hour. Which means that since we're going to be stuck behind this train the whole way... We're not going to be able to see the maximum speed. Also, we do still have two trains on like third times the charm, right? Pause. Let's take this opportunity to do something uh, that is perhaps a little bit more sensible than just, you know, buying a TGV. Uh, let's get... Let's get the Jewel Stocks, which is super, super awesome train, and I'm actually in love with it. Super cheap to run. Let's put it on third times the charm. Let's also get rid of this train. Yeah, so we've only got one train on third times the charm now, but we'll see what happens. We can always sell this TGV if things don't work out, so 
I'm not super sad about anything, really. But I do want to see if we can try and get up to 300 kilometers per hour. It's kind of the dream. Alright, come on. Come on, let's see you get up to 300 kilometers per hour. This is not going to be a very successful endeavor, I suspect, purely because of the dual stocks train being in front of us, only being able to go at 200 kilometers per hour, although it is fairly far ahead. This is a cool orange train, though. I, I dig it. I really do. Are we even going to get past 200 here? 205? Pretty fucking disappointing, to be honest. That is actually unbelievably disappointing. I cannot believe we only managed to muster a pathetic 200 miles per hour. Wow. That was... That was kind of disappointing, actually. For all of the money that we put into this, and we also completely fucked up the route because the train's too long, that's why it didn't work uh, on three times the charm, or third times the charm. So you're literally going to be a pain in the ass for me now, train, aren't you? You're going to delay literally everything. You might get up to a decent speed, though. It seems that this train, you know, accelerates at a, at a respectable speed, but not a speed that is... remarkable? I mean, 211 miles per hour there on a completely unimpeded route. Yeah, you're you're going to the depot, buddy. You're going to the depot. You're getting sold. Sorry to say. There you go. You were a significant pain in the ass whilst you were around. And honestly, you you were not all that you were cracked up to be. But at least let's look at the positive side. We're going to get like a shit ton of money for this chap. Yeah. 39.8 million. We did lose, you know, 2 million on that, on the investment, but I say investment. I'm okay with just getting rid of that, that dude. That, that works for me. And you know what? Actually, that would allow us to repay some of our debt. Which is quite a nice thing to be able to do. For the first time in what feels like forever, we're actually paying back money. We're making, we're making progress. We're making progress. And, uh, and I'm pretty happy with that. What's the issue here, Framlingham Chemical Plant? Try to ship more plastic? Sure, whatever. Try to ship more items? I can probably do that. Um, so I'd imagine that third times the charm is now probably quite profitable. Uh, and I actually hope to be rolling out this train on probably all of my services very, very soon indeed. Um, not quite sure how long it's going to take to accrue the, uh, the, the proper funds or whatever. For fuck's sake. Just go to another depot. There we go. Jesus Christ. What a stupid fucking train. Anyway, ladies and gents, on that note, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Old Potato. This has been Transport Fever, and I'll see you next time. Bye.